Hey everyone, today's Mule Tip Tuesday is about your mules getting bored. I was at a clinic recently and a nice lady asked me about her mule and she said, geez Ty, I'm, I seem to work on stuff and um, I'll be working on something, I'll do it once or twice and my mule acts like it's bored, you know, and so we move on to something else, but it seems like I can only get one or two repetitions and my mule kind of gets bored on me. What am I What am I doing? Am I asking too much? And you know what? That's a common thing. I hear this a lot. Um, you got to understand your mules at that point probably isn't bored. And this is what I mean is a lot of times a mule, you'll be working on something and they get to a point where they don't quite understand the question you've asked. And they do kind of get to where they shut down a little bit. Um, maybe they slow down a little bit. And it's important to understand what's going on. Some people call that stubborn. That's when they say, oh, geez, that mule's stubborn. And I say, no, that mule's just thinking. Got to give it some time to think. But don't quit right then. You see, if every time you're working on something and your mule starts to act, quote, bored, um, and you quit at that point, think about what you're teaching your mule. It's similar to the work ethic maybe young adults or you know youth might learn. If you if you went to work and you're you know maybe you, you come to work for me or something and you, you start to work maybe you're cleaning stalls or you're doing something and or maybe it might be a little harder job. Maybe I have you riding colts for me or something and you say, geez Ty, I'm bored that's not going to go too far here that doesn't that doesn't work I, i'd say geez no we have we got a job to do you're not allowed to get bored until until your time's up here you got work to do all day if i went went ahead and quit uh, asking you to do that i say oh it's okay if you're bored let's move on to something else what am i teaching you what kind of work ethic would that teach you especially if you was a young adult or something um it wouldn't be too long. You'd figure out, geez, all I got to do to move on to something else. If I kind of don't like it, I just got to say I'm kind of bored and I'll move on. If you think about it, sometimes we're teaching our meals a very exact thing. Maybe they start to refuse something. And really, you need to understand they're just trying to think through it. But if you quit there, over time, it will teach the meal that all they have to do is slightly or lightly refuse you, act bored, and you move on to something else. It's important to know that when you quit, your mule learns. There's no right or wrong to your mule. There's no good or bad. So, say you're trying to back your mule up, and you've picked up on the reins, you've sat in your seat, and you've opened your legs, and you're trying to get that mule to respond to the question you've asked. And as you're pulling on the reins, your mule's just refusing you, and just sitting there. Well... If you quit right then, you have just taught your mule to brace. Or a better scenario would be to you'd ask the question, you'd wait for them to take a step. As they took a step, you'd release the reins. When you quit, it confirms the answer to your mule. So if you quit when the mule's bracing, that's still to the mule, it's still the right answer. There's no uh, there's no doubt about that. They say, okay, well, all right. I, they pulled on me, I braced on them, they quit. That must be what old Ty was looking for. On the other hand, if I wait till it ta that mule takes a step and he finally figures it out, he says, okay, all right, I think he wants me to take a step. But the real question comes is maybe you do this once or twice and then the mule gets hung up again. And that's where an important explanation about timing is, is, is important. It's important to quit at the right time. And that is, the short answer to it is quit when they take you up on the good deal. Not plan B, but plan A. When you, when you can ask them nicely and they can respond to that, that's the good deal. If I was trying to get my mule to cross a, cross a stream or something, and maybe I got it to go across, but it jumped clear across and I had to kick it in the ribs until I had hair on my rowels to get it to cross the stream that's not the good deal is it i got it you know i got it to cross the stream but that's not the end of the story i'm not even close to done yet i would if it was me i would hang out of that stream until i could get my mule to willingly 
across the stream, walking across nicely without me having to use my spurs. See, if I had to use my spurs in that situation, that's plan B. If I'm having to use my spur, I'm not anywhere near my end goal. And that's one. That's just one example of, I mean, there's thousands we could sit here and talk all day about different examples of that, but you have to hang in there. You have to stay on task until your mule takes you up on the good deal. That's it, period. You can apply those simple words to everything you do. You need to hang in there until your mule takes you up on the good deal. If you're, ha if you're having to kick them with your spurs or smack them with your lead rope or whatever it is that you're having to do, if there's, if there's some force involved in it and they're not operating through feel, you're not done yet. And when you quit, if you quit, you confirm. When you quit, you confirm. If you can think about that, remember that's important. So stay on task until you get them to come through on a good deal. And you can apply that to anything. So that's my thoughts for the day. Hope it makes some sense to you. Shoot me some questions if you have any. And uh, hope to see you guys at a clinic sometime down the road. Thank you. God bless you.